it's time to start a new single player playthrough since I last finished Hellblade. Uh, this one was recommended by a friend. I don't know anybody watching this might have seen one of my recorded videos of Phasmophobia where I asked. Recommended by my mate Jade. Let's go. Am I supposed to? Oh.
Two Forks Tower. Hello. How do I do this? Okay. Yep. Um. Hello. Whoever this is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. 
So what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's Ooh. a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. What? No choice, okay. <coughs> hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? West? West? Oh. Are those fucking fireworks? Hello. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is nice. like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. Pretty the sure Dirty Harry didn't one, write any two, tickets three, ever. Four. It's actually that for all of them. Cash box. Smart. Shut up. Fuck, I wasn't listening. <laughs> I was just standing there watching the fucking fireworks. Oh no. Okay. This is fine. Why? Why? Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. <laughs> I thought she said something about grabbing a box. can't see the bottom half of the map.
zoom in, lower map. That's it, that's all I've got. Supply cash. I found the supply box. Great. That's what she was talking about. Hey, what's the code again? One, two, three, four. The whole lot of them. <laughs> so, are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They <laughs> saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. Granola bar, old ropes, what do I... Okay, anyway. Can I put this away? Hey, there's a snack in here. You're probably gonna eat it. You definitely do not want to do that. Whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. Toggle jogging. Oh. Rope hook. Boop. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. I can't hear the fireworks anymore. How the fuck am I supposed to tell where I'm going? There's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Don't know. Oh, the camp out. is right there. Oh, fuck. Keep pressing shift to sprint. Oh, hello. Oh, clean up. Seriously? I'm gonna get sidetracked so easily. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Stomp out. There we go. Oh, shit. Ferret or Irish. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Yoink. I hear music. 
they left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Ugh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not great, no. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Boop. Oh no. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. <laughs> Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? <laughs> There's a... Uh, ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Find a way back, okay. Hey, did I go okay? It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Should I go the right way? Nope. I completely missed all that. So they just left their stuff down here. Uh, it would be a bad idea for me to toss it all in the lake, right? Yes, I don't think that'd be wise. If you could refrain from criminal destruction of personal property while on this job, that'd be great, okay? <laughs> so there's no uh, noise ordinances or rules out here? Uh, no. That music I hear makes a good case for him. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. Meh. Seriously? Just 
keep hitting shift to sprint. North, I guess. A nice moment to follow the, probably follow the canyon. not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. I might. I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Oh, fuck. Should have done that with the last one. Anyways. I go. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So. So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. Ah! Don't I go in, or...? Looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go in, they never come out. Ah, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is. Yep. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. <laughs> ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, 
Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Is it? Just the outhouse, then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, <laughs> number one, at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. What? Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Mother. Fucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. I'd like to shut the door? Nope. Okay. My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just me. Yeah, it sucks. Okay, I put in a call. That was fast. Yeah, well... Do you have any idea who could have done this? They opened the cookbook. Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. Uh, I can't believe someone would do this. They hung I something on the generator button. And fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts. Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. 
They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Well, I sure don't now. You will. I, I promise. Lies. Excuse me. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. 100 gamer score, I'll take that. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire <laughs> runs through your area and report oh, shit. down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. At least the thermos is where I left it. All right. Fucking way. <laughs> Fuck. Was I not listening again? Oh no. I wasn't listening again. <laughs> Fuck. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold and bolder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break, or... We're... I'm sorry, can you hold that pot? Uh, sure, I'm just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. <laughs> hey, um, I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. <laughs> hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, 
Julia, girlfriend? Ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. I gotta go do the thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. I need to. I am lost. I'm lost. Come back. Fuck, I don't know where I'm going. Does your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job, or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck. What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. Can't go over that. What happened last summer that accounted for this um, windfall? <laughs> A turtle. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost hey, let buddy. Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground. Ring a bell? Uh, whoa, Delilah, the trail I hiked in on, it's, it's, uh, it's gone. What is this, the Twilight Zone? No, there was, a, there was a rock slide. Is there another path out of the thoroughfare? Ah, uh, um, let me think. God, I guess I'm lucky I wasn't on it when it happened. Yeah, for sure. You know, without some impossible mountaineering, there's not really another way out. So what the hell? We'll fly you out? I mean, sometimes folks get cut off by fire and we just scoop them up when it's time to go. Okay. Don't be nervous. I'm nervous. Yeah, <sighs> maybe I'll just live out here now. I'll, I'll find myself a baby bear to keep as a pet and live off the land like Grizzly Adams. back to Jonesy Lake, I don't think. I don't think. So, north of the canyon. Oh, fuck. I can't read. I am in Egypt. Okay, north of the canyon. So, just head north now. Along that. Get me out there, probably. Where's the so legend? Okay. All right. Let's do the thing. Is it this way? <laughs> Hang on. How the f 
How the fuck did I actually go? What about second oh wait, do I have the... I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. Yoink. Fuck, I don't know if there were notes on the other supply boxes now. I don't even know where the fuck I'm going. I need to be going that away. Burp. Excuse me. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Head back whenever the fuck I want. Actually. Why can't I fucking move? What's this little... Thingy. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Hmm.
I found an old notepad of, uh, I guess, songs. And someone was writing a song called Old Shoshone. Old Shoshone, where the sky is blue and the teens are nude. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's just like that, except about ten times more depressing. Yikes. I'll have that. All right. Ooh, what is this? Good, that. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. First things first. Wait, how do I... What do I... Where do I... Eh? Here we go. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? The hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. <laughs> Yoink. I'm going back the way I came, I guess. Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Mm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Because I stole their boombox, or what? Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? 
God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. Hey, uh... Yeah. I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Like the beer cans? Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Tools, eh? I don't see any fucking beer cans, but... Oh well. I gotta tell you, all this climbing and jumping, it's pretty invigorating. Just wait for the rest of the summer when you'll be sitting on your fat ass 14 hours a day. Supply drop. 0.2. That's only a quick trip, of course. Hello. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Fuck yeah, I could. Oh, whoops. Evidence. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them. In decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really 
hit it off with old Ned, and um, one day they were just gone. It sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. <laughs> well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Uh, what? Hang on. Oh. Nope. Does that mean I can just climb back up to? Oh, cool. What is that? I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. I might. Who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Huh. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. Cool. Anyway. Onwards. Go this way. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa! How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. We. Oui. Wait, what? There was something I could call in, I swear. I had a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass oh. and out to repair that wire. Excuse me? Flapjack? You know, like a loser. A chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! <laughs> hey, there it is.
Do I go down into the canyon? Or around the fucking thing? Where am I? Don't tell me. <sighs> They're at the lake again. Okay. Let's go down. I wonder how that turtle's doing in my fucking pocket. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Where's that, uh, I think there's a supply cache up here. Whoop. Just around the bend. Hmm. Why not? Shirt. I found a sweatshirt from University of Eastern Colorado. Maybe it's one of the girls. I mean, it's been here a long time. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Fuck a duck. What are you going to do when the fire season wraps up? Are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. I don't know. I, I haven't really thought about it. Right now, I'm trying to hunt down some vandals, and I don't even know what I'm going to do when I find them. I'm not thinking very far ahead. You should go see her. She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better. 
and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. Just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. She was off. This is actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Yep. waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Can't see the fucking smoke anymore. my sheets the girls stole them yeah but the thing is their entire campsite is wrecked what happened I have no idea it's pretty bad well just look around make sure they weren't you know injured or uh, murdered <sighs> they weren't murdered oh you remember when I came out here to quietly look for fires they weren't just look around Actually, you've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Put down the fuck it. There we go. Oh, 
I'll take care of their fire. That would be great, as always. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at the camp. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. No. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Interesting. Wait, what did I, what happened to so Oh. Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? Oh. Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? <laughs> I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Interesting. Burp. Excuse me. Alright. Hey, Henry. I'm gonna call it a day three for now. And pick this up another day. See ya.